You right there, ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm out on the V85, my happy hippo. Just having a little explore, heading over to Newlands Corner, gonna get myself some lunch and uh, yeah, just have a nice little leisurely ride out there. And I thought I'd go the proper country way over a couple of green lanes. Awesome. Keep that bike from a side down. I don't think this is gonna be a particularly long video today. Um, yeah, I've, I've been pumping out some long ones recently and I thought I'd give those of you with a shorter attention span a chance to watch more of a video if you've got less time on your hands. So um, yeah, I hope you don't mind the mix-up of long and short videos on the channel. So this isn't going to be a hell for leather ride as you can see. Um, this isn't the right bike for me to be going tear arsing around the country lanes, or the green lanes more specifically, especially these sandy ones, I'm not very good on sand. Uh, so I shall be just plodding along, staying upright. <laughs> uh, it was really awesome to experience the sands down in Hindhead Way uh, the other week with Big Pezza, that was grand. Um, I really need more practice on sand because it can be quite tricky. Cheers! Um, and certainly with a heavier bike like this, uh, it's very easy for me to lose control and um, end up the front digging in and me just toppling over. So I want to be very careful today, um, but I would like to get more practice in the sand. It's only on my little bike, the uh, Beta 390, um, just so it's a little less scary. And I imagine getting better on it on that will actually mean it, it will increase my confidence on this. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping that will transpire that way. This bike's quite a heavy bike, so I think it, 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 it sits well balanced. Um, but you do need to uh, keep your weight rearward. Yeah, I felt a little bit nervous on that sand there. I definitely wouldn't have wanted to take this down to Hindhead. Uh, we'd have had to avoided the sands on this. It just doesn't have the tyres for it. These Anarchy uh, Adventure tyres, they're great for stuff like this, but the moment it gets um, anything more serious, uh, yeah, I think they definitely meet their match. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're more of a stylised tyre, I feel. Uh, I know other people can probably ride the socks off them, um, but I'm not a good enough rider to do that. Certainly not experienced enough with big size adventure bikes. Oh, it's definitely going to be a hot one today. Definitely going to be a hot one. I'm currently wearing my leather jacket, which uh, still fits me mostly, but my belly has expanded a bit, and yeah, that's sort of a bit of a tight fit around the waist so uh, I'm looking to get myself some new stuff I've actually ordered some uh, summer kit from Conqueror's Apparel it's not enduro stuff it's more urban stuff um, uh, armoured hoodie and uh, armoured trousers and some uh, bike shoes um, just it's a bit more comfortable wearing that stuff when it's hot uh, but they've got a back order on the trousers, so it's going to take a while, I think, to get them. Hopefully I'll get them before the end of the summer, though. <laughs> a little bit of horse poo out. Got to make sure we don't come across any horses by surprise. Another reason for keeping the speed down down here. Got the ABR coming up soon, which I'm really looking forward to. That's the Adventure Bike Rider Rally, or Adventure Bike Rally, whatever you call it. Um, and I'm very much looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, the Covid regulations might be delayed the change in full on loosening but I think the rally's still going ahead whatever um, but I, I heard that they'd actually oversubscribed they've got too many tickets out so I'm really hoping that that doesn't cause any issues it might be just uh, a rumour mill type th situation that yeah well that was a nice little jaunt along Wolven's Lane Like I said on my original video coming down here on this bike, it's, it's actually made it more accessible to people like me to be able to ride this sort of bike. Um, yes, I can ride my Beta, but uh, yeah, this one is, doesn't get as much use. And back on the tarmac. Briefly, although actually this one is tarmac too. Um, 
just rougher. <laughs> Again, not going fast. I don't really want to bin the bike, especially not with the ABR coming up. As uh, if I damage this bike, that's me scuppered. I won't be able to get there on the bike, and it would be a bit rubbish me turning up in my transit to the adventure bike rally, wouldn't it? <laughs> I thought, seeing as it was a short video, I'd pop up along here as well and uh, see what this one's like. This part of it is basically a road, it's no problem at all, um, just bad state of repair. Uh, but a little bit later on it gets a, a bit more technical and I had to turn this thing around um, last time I tried it because it was, it was too wet, um, but we've had a lot of dry weather recently, so uh, I'm hoping that it'll be alright to do. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm really not in the right kit for this, so... Um, I had to think about doing this one quite hard because I really don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, so from here alongwards it gets a little bit trickier. There's some big old puddly bits, um, but I'm hoping they've all dried out now. I'm hoping. Yeah, at the moment it's no problem at all. No problem. See, this bit here is normally a puddly bit, but it's all dried out, no worries. That one there stays wet all year round there, I think. Um, but it's not puddled, it's just wet. It's a doggo. Here it gets a bit soggy, but as you can see, there's an easy path around it. And then here is, I think, the main bit that gets really soggy. Um, but as you can see, all dry, dry as a bone. Thank you. Not a problem, easy peasy so far. Now then, what's it going to be like here? As we get around this corner going right, we get to another sort of almost U-turn and then go down the hill and it's quite steep. Um, it's not technical on a, a light bike, but on this it will be um, pushing my comfort zone I think. Uh, we're not there yet, this is alright, because you're wide enough to be able to pick your own line and stuff. But as we come down here, we've got like a U-turn to do in a second, which takes us down the hill. I'm gonna go wide. And oh, we should be okay. Look. Ugh. Ugh, I say go wide. <laughs> go slow. Okay. Definitely got the wrong boots on for this, so I'm really, really, really limping this down here. Clutching Jobaru. Um just because I don't want to drop it. Do a Freddy. <laughs> no problem at all. I could have quite actually easily ridden up that, I think, um, with these tyres. It wouldn't have been a problem, uh, but I would want to do it in better kit than I'm wearing. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so uh, this is tagged on before the end of the video where I hadn't done this at that particular point, but hey, it's there for you and your watching pleasure. <laughs> Awesome stuff! It's a lovely part of the world is this. I quite like riding through here. So many old buildings. Right, and one last little green lane and we'll be up at Newland's Corner. Well I said it was going to be a short video. I think this constitutes a short one. Who knows, depends how the edit comes out. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Concise, compact and concise. Although this lane is incredibly easy, it's a, it's a lovely little one to come along. Uh, get your bike where you want it. Um, yeah, I mean, this part of it is just effectively a really bad maintained road. But it's just nice being off the beaten path. You say that, I mean, there's millions of people along here. <laughs> um, but 
just less vehicles so I guess I'm part of the problem <laughs> oh gosh learn to ride pick a gear any old gear will do I really should be standing up one thing I dislike about this bike is the foot pegs because they've got sponge vibration absorbing bits on them rubber mounted uh, you don't feel very supported by them so uh, it puts me off using them as a load bearer it feels like they're going to snap off I'm sure they're not well this has been a pleasant little bimble for me I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me if you're new to the channel don't forget to click that subscribe button it would be awesome to have you come back for some more I've got another couple of motorcycles I've got a beta enduro which I do more green laning on and uh, another Motorgut CV7 which is quite customised um, so yeah come back say hello uh, if you like this video why not give it a little thumbs up too and if you didn't you can always give it a thumbs down I don't mind at all but whatever you do please do drop in a comment I love hearing from you anyhow you were safe take care and I shall catch you all in the next one Oh, bye bye for now. Keep that fly. Drop a side down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that fly. Drop a side down.